Hi guys, welcome to another video related to Galaxy J7 2015. In this video, we are going to see another Android 7.1.2 ROM, which is the AICP, the Android Ice Cold project, which I have been using in a lot of phones of my old phones, and it was from older phones I was using as a Kit Kat and Lollipop, and now Marshmallow I have also used on this Galaxy Mega. And yes, this Galaxy Mega is also coming in this video for some small comparisons about it is a 1.5 GB RAM and 16 GB yes so same with it and let's compare just a normal enjoyable video entertainment and the main is main theme is about the J7 only the review of the AICP normal what I have got in two days and oh that was really bad so let's start with the review and let's start installing the ROM So uh, the videos are coming late due to some network issues and also I test the oh, all new ROMs are coming uh, and I, uh, one more Albatros ROM has come so I am going I am uh, just install it uh, last evening and testing it now for two days and then the review so there will be videos and videos and the latest will come afterwards so uh, sorry for this let's boot into recovery and sorry for the late videos you have already enjoyed many more uh, about J7 from others so enjoy them too and enjoy mine too so now we have to boot into recovery by using the volume up button the home button and the power button so i have already done it and backup you need to go to backup and choose all this choose internal or micro sd i will go to wipe advanced wipe that will be cache data and system Whew. now ok done everything i just go back to install and here I have the AICP so you have the choice of flashing G apps too so I will suggest you mini G apps or micro G apps or Pico not the full and all please don't go to the full and all G apps so uh, it's uh, doing its job it's flashing the OS and this is a AOSP so it won't take any two time to booting up so I will uh, first suggest you to boot this ROM and then go for the G apps so that you will have a faster boot because after you flash the GFs it will only have a faster boot only it will not take like a half lot of time all that initializer so uh, it's rooted with magisk and if uh, after uh, going inside if the magisk is not showing you need to boot it again with super SU. so the magisk root will be available as you have booted so it's done now let's go so see it was very easy installation ok focused do not install ok i will select this see so it keeps install prompting me to get install install ok so the boot logo will be yours not this miscellaneous OS <laughs> ok that's great you have seen this boot logo in the previous mega video so let this ROM boot up nothing more in and we will just compare it. So first I will give the review of this and just compare it some entertaining just some for some entertainment with this galaxy mega so let's see so this ROM is finally booted up and uh, so now it doesn't have lock screen flickering but I was using it for two days and the lock screen was flickering like hell like after uh, you see that uh, video and you see in that video the lock screen was flickering so now it's not flickering but it will flicker after some time so this lock screen normally iOS lock screen and this is the stock all these apps are like Lineage OS all these Lineage OS apps the camera is from uh, okay I think Lineage OS camera no it's a Google camera great oh flash so getting these normal things and I think lens blur is not present into settings we get resolution and quality so yeah normal google and vibration is also great here yeah. feels good ASAP extras i will show you afterwards or the configurations uh, because it's a osp custom rom magisk manager inside it's okay it's rooted good so that's great see if you can pass the safety net check i don't have time to internet and all messaging music phone all these are same normal apps and we get two file managers this is the normal one 
and this you can use for rooted devices so you can go inside it first you need to enable root in the settings just need to go to developer options here is the uh, okay I think it okay it's rooted with uh, magisk manager sorry so now just directly go into just directly go into file manager go here into settings uh, general settings and root access mode yes so this is the magic super SU request and root access mode is enabled now you can uh, tweak your device and this is a aosp custom rom so more tweaking okay what else this is the home root uh, okay root folder so yeah this is the root folder and you can customize a lot all you know what to do and what to customize calculate a calendar or stock apps and this is a new jelly browser okay i don't know the name properly but i think this is the jelly browser only because it uh, doesn't look like the jello browser now going to system ui the quick settings is uh, set to this order you can customize it like the normal one in the quick settings i will show you how to and here is to add some more edit or uh, add some more quick settings and there are ton lot of options like the pie the language and sound and you can do it because these are the custom shortcuts and you can add many as you can now okay let's see the wallpapers too and i think this will be the same as lineage os yeah only one wallpaper added so and uh, audio effects that's great now we will go into settings Settings UI is Lineage OS UI. I thought that will be like a pixel uh, reselection remix UI, but no. Now we are going to AIC Pixels. Wi Fi gets connected, so please, uh, Hotspot doesn't get connected because Hotspot has a bug. AIC Pixels, you can tweak your heads up notification status bar. Let's go to heads up notifications, you get these options. Into status bar, you can tweak these things. Now we're going to uh, notification drawer. I think the focus is getting low. Okay, custom header image uh, you can always set here. See, you can uh, header provide a dynamic static header package. You can set to nature or poly. So this is the. Uh, there are various packages you can set. Quick settings. Yeah, here you need to customize the order rows. Like I was set to this and okay, what uh, columns? so uh, this has become the like marshmallow one very small and no cut one so uh, you can customize it here columns landscape portrait and going to i don't know what is going to be here. okay so it became normal now weather tile also settings we get and more we get here the lock screen customization you can customize your clock and all things owner info here we have weather display too yes the weather has been provided here open weather the map so you can just turn on the location or if you don't want your location you can set a custom location into here just go to weather here and turn on the wi-fi set custom location go to location enter anything like your city name and just press ok and give it refreshing after some time anything you can get this the camera and all okay we have look about the apps let's go into more customization and here we have animations various animations you can change the boot animation too as you saw the same in the mega the same settings are here customize the boot animations the blur ui these are various good panel pawn you can customize your panel and system uh, extensions we get a system app remover so if you want to debloat this uh, you can also do it that is great you get this in every like reselection remix and all roms various shit here are some various configurations you can do with your device so okay uh, this was the overall view of this rom and going to settings about device it's running the android ai cp ASAP version see this gets and when you press this long press on this uh, this gets so this is crazy <laughs> this is really weird and crazy what is this and you cannot press it if you press it you can get to this screen now we'll go to your uh, version no good 7.1.1 now the android o is also coming and android go is also coming let's uh, hope 
these ROMs will also come like CM15, no CM not 15, <laughs> Lineage was 15. Now we are going to compare the J7 with the Mega with some small, so uh, let's compare it. So now we are going to compare this Galaxy Mega with the Galaxy J7 in terms of AICP. So both I have set the drawer to same and you can see all apps are same. Only we get the extra file manager uh, which I needed here so that I can put some apps and uh, okay so let's forward. And screenshot also because screenshot I think is working here. Let's see. Yeah screenshot is working here but in the galaxy mega it doesn't work oh this is screen shot okay screenshot is working and when you click on this galaxy mega screenshot is not away okay first it is very hard to get this and now when you can see the screenshot is uh, not getting blank thing is here and here it's stable so good only this bug is here gallery and nothing here so we cannot get screenshots here one more thing this is fully stable other than this small bugs and this has voltage because this is a 4g phone uh, and it has voltage support the voltage is not working in here and more bugs are hotspot lag sometimes I experience lag because I was using this for two days sometimes I was experience lag and I tried playing game on it and it was not really good also the antidote score is not really good that if you want to use this as a two day device so but when it becomes stable I will suggest you to use the AICP because it's great totally and one more interesting thing I just wanted you guys to show that uh, okay this video is getting really bigger so I will end it here only as I already told you not much comparison hardware info see both are 1.5 GB but here we can see 1370 MB here we can see 1090 MB let's go back to the memory section ok 603 MB used here 416 used and free is 768 and here only 675 so here is 1090 and here is 1.3 GB out of the 1.5 GB so the RAM performance for J7 is great and it's a new 2015 uh, like not new now it's old device but it's newer than this this 2013 device holy shit it's 4 years later so let's compare by opening some apps here I will clear all things what we get here so let's clear this everything so probably J7 will win because you already know so let's compare with some this 4 apps only ok so J7 has uh, been spotted very early here. and in all terms the J7 is also going only going to win so browser also the uh, new browser is very fast camera j7 and were really close and now nothing more to open just settings app so yes all and j7 win because it's a newer device with greater hardware not newer okay i know not newer now so this was a small and very funny comparison for this mega because literally this is dead now and but still the development is going on so that's great and now the review of this rom is also ended and that was a great uh, to compare it with this funny mega so tell me guys in the comment section if you love this and please like this video if you liked it and if you disliked it just uh, write down below in the comments so that next time i will give i will not give a chance of dislike and okay now just joking and uh, yeah subscribe for more videos yeah subscribe please and join our community also have a whatsapp group and i'm going to delete that group because subscribers are increasing and i don't know where many people will be in the group I, if whatsapp has unlimited members of group then i can keep the whatsapp group so that we can communicate but that will be very hard and also 
press the bell icon for latest videos if you want instant updates and okay the video is getting more bye